Guess who's back? <laughs> oh, man. Man, what's going on, YouTube? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> I actually I have to go back. And um, I got to go back at some point and check the, the date of my last video on this channel. But it, it certainly has been a while. And I hope everybody's doing good. I hope all is well. Um, I am well. My family is well. We've been going through so many changes. So much have changed. So much news. So much updates. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know where to begin. It's so much. Oh, man. So much I want to say on here. There's so much I want to talk about. But, you know, this kind of let me give you guys an update with me um you know from my last video i believe it was in 2022 that was my last video on this channel and um was it 20 yeah i think it was 2022 so it's 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 been over a year since the last time i posted it had to be Last time I posted it had to be about 2021, 2022. I gotta check, but it's definitely been a it's been over a year since the last time I, I did a video on this channel. And um so much has changed. Um I was out of the country for about eight months. Uh, me, and my my wife, my daughter, you know, our family, we sat down being led by the spirit. Um we sold everything. We sold our home, um, cars, furniture. We sold all that we can, took what we can, and we, we left the country for eight months. Um, it was it was definitely spiritually led. We were in Africa and yeah, and it was it was <laughs> it was some of the best times of our lives. I, honestly, like that was the best eight months that one of the best eight months I can ever remember. Um, it was definitely some of the best times of our, of our lives. Um, we loved it. The food was great. The people was great. The people was, the people's what made it. The atmosphere, the frequency in the, of the area, you can feel the vibration frequencies, different places you go. And in, in Africa, there was this, this, this beautiful, uplifting high level frequency every single day it was so amazing um and every day i woke up it was just uh, it was just so beautiful like it, it was some of the best sleep that i've ever had on un uninterrupted the best food that i ever had the best air the best water meeting some of the best people best personality diving into the culture I mean, I can talk about it all on and on and on. And we've been back for a few months now and it's, <sighs> let me tell you, man, when the Mosai told me that Africa was and is part of the promised land, it's not just, you know, what they told, told us and taught us in the Middle East. I didn't know what to believe until I got there and I met other people that from from the states that got there and when we get there it, everybody says the same thing like there's a there's a level of peace that's there it's something spiritual there that you feel when you're there and after being there for so long and then coming back here oh my gosh like I can it's like night and day the way you feel and sense the frequency in the atmosphere it was man we miss it so much like every day i talk about it every day i think about um africa you know the motherland every every day it was it was amazing um you know but we had to come back here we had to you know do some stuff get some stuff done um, before we head back, when will we head back? Don't know, but definitely Africa is part of the promised land. And that is actually the wilderness that is talked about in the book of Ezekiel, I believe chapter 38, you know, in, um, 
and even in the book of Revelation, where it talks about how the woman went to make war with the offspring, and it talks about how a part, a portion of the offspring fled into the wilderness. Um, the most I, I, I prayed about it, I could give you stories about it, I prayed about it, there's so much I can share, but the most I showed me that was the wilderness. The so most I showed me that was the that's our, our portion of the promised land. That's part of the two stakes that need to unite together. There's so much history there. There's so much love there. Oh my gosh, the people treated us like man. They really like I I never been somewhere that people made you feel so welcome. Like, I don't care what you heard about Africa. Like, if you've never actually been there, <laughs> like, you just really can't understand. And people will say, don't go there. Those people don't like us. They hate us. We're not Africans. They're this, that, that, that. And I mean, it's like, nah, bro. Like, those people are us. They Not only they look like us, like everybody, when I got there, nobody thought I was American. Everybody thought I was from there. They thought we were from there. They thought we, they just didn't know what part. People came up to me all the time to speak to me in their language. But, um, man, it was so fun, man. It's so live out there. Like the energy, the atmosphere, the hustle and bustle, like people going to the marketplaces, into the streets, um, every single day, like even the people who are homeless are doing like trying to do productive work. You know, they like they take it upon themselves to do certain things. And 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 don't get me wrong. It ain't it ain't a perfect it ain't a perfect place. You know, what I'm saying like you do have its issues. You do have corruption, you know, government, you, you know, you do have it, it's not perfect. It has problems. But it's far from the issues that we have here. I mean, they still look at... They look at over here like over here is... um, Like the golden age, USA. And it's like, no. Nah, they don't even know half of what's going on over here. They're looking at over here like over here. Like this is... Like, America, is, this is it. This is where you want to be. This is where you want to go. Like, why would you leave? You know what I mean? That's like, so all we got all day is they just trying to, why would you leave? Why you left? Why are you here? I'm like, what do you mean why I'm here? Do you see how beautiful this land is? <laughs> like, but they, but, you know, growing up there, and I guess them seeing it their whole life, they just, they just don't know. They only see, what they see on TV is, that's what they believe, just like us. You know, people used to say all types of stuff about Africa on TV, and you get there, you're like, bro, they have certain cities that we don't even have here. They have certain malls that are advanced than most of our malls here. Like, um, man, it was it was a great, great experience. It was a great, great experience. I even started a channel out there. It was called uh, Life in Embo. Um, just to kind of showcase what I was experiencing as I took a break from this channel on, you know, the most high told me, you know, just this is your season for, to rest. And when I was out there, that's all I was doing really mostly. I was, I was working, but I was really resting. Like when I tell you, like I was having the best sleep of my life man and then when i got back here it's like we it's like none of us can't sleep it's like we're waking up at two in the morning three in the morning four in the morning we have trouble resting that night um i had some ailments with food here before i left and digestive issues i got there cleaned up i mean I was eating a lot of good food, fresh food, less GMO products. Uh, face was clearing up like crazy. Like, I mean, when I got here, I realized how clear my face was. And then I started assimilating back into this place. And then 
started having breakouts and rashes and allergic reactions and <laughs> stomach pains and like, like everything came back. <laughs> it's like everything came back stronger. Even my nose right now, I can't even reach to it, man. But, you know, I'm so excited to just, you know, because I've really been wanting to talk. I've really been wanting to say a lot, but I've been doing so much. I've been doing so much that I haven't been able to talk to you these times, especially with everything that's been going on. You know, I have I had to finish certain things and I'm still working on so much. Um, and there's a surprise that I want to share with you guys. So one second, be right back. Stay tuned. this is one of the projects I've been working on and I know I did a couple videos on it but this this project right here this book right here is very special because when I when when I got the idea to make the book and because I I've been diving in and I know in the videos that I gave a lot of revelation behind the sign, but this book takes that, those revelations, even more to the next level. I got even more revelations about this, you know, sign. This is one of the reasons why I'm making this video because I am calling us to do a fast on April, between April 6th and the 12th. If you can do a six day fast, do a six day fast. If you can do a, a three day fast, do a three day fast from the sixth to the ninth. Or if you do, if you do one day, if you only could do a one day fast, do a one day fast on April 8th. Everybody call off of work. Everybody should be fasting. And it shouldn't even be a question. If you understand what this sign If you understand what this sign meant, it should not, it shouldn't even be a question. It shouldn't be a question. Our people, we have a chance to do something where we can raise the frequency of this planet. And we can, we can unite, you know, is, 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 is one thing when we do things individually, but when we begin to unite collectively under one cause and we can put we can put aside everything that we disagree on we could we could disagree on doctrines all day we could disagree on what our next move should be we could disagree on a lot of things but if you understand what these signs meant we all can agree that these signs is the sign of deliverance, the sign of our exodus. And if we could just put all the other stuff we don't agree to the side and just focus on that, 
on focus on unity because it's this unity that is destroying us the most. But if we all can focus on unity for that one event, one sign to fast for strength, protection, deliverance, and justice unto the evil that is being done into this world. If we all can just focus and do that together at once, a thousand of us, I mean, we can do a lot. 10,000 of us, oh man, we can move a lot of mountains. Hundred thousands, shake the whole world up. A million, turn the whole world upside down. The whole world upside down. That's why I'm telling people, you know, call off of work, don't go into work, fast, pray and you know definitely do support and get the book but believe me his book is beyond the most high already told me look this book is beyond you this message is this is beyond me this is beyond me it's crazy how i put the book out there to to friends and family and no comment no support no nothing <laughs> and it's like what do you you think this is about me? Like, are you making it this personal? This is actually about you. This book is actually about you. It is our deliverance. It is our sign. It is our exodus sign. And you may not fully understand it now, but I guarantee you, once you read the book, you fully, you will understand. You will understand. You will see all the signs. You will say, yeah. Like, either somebody is playing with us, somebody's really messing with us at a high, high level, or I don't know. Because there's no way. I mean, just I was just talking about this uh, a few minutes ago. Just my journey from 2017, finding out when I, when I did those prayers, I, before I even really did any real research, all I knew was April, around the time of Passover, 2024, this X sign was happening, it's being completed. That's all I knew. 2020, that's when I did the research. Well, let me go back. 2017, that's when the Most High told me, Passover, I am marking my people. And I'm like, huh? Passover, I am marking my people. So I'm like, this is an exodus, a Passover event for our people? Meaning there's about to be destruction in the world. And look what's happening in the world. Oh, my gosh. We're on the verge of World War II. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. I mean, like, hold on. There's about to be destruction in the world. And we're about to be delivered. Is that what I'm hearing? Boom, 2020 happened. That's when I was like, okay, I really got to revisit this prophecy and dive deep. And then that's when I found out what an X is. Carbondale, Illinois. Carbondale, Illinois is actually, um, you know, Little Egypt. So when I found that out, that blew me away because the the most I said Passover, I'm marking my people. Well, Passover had to deal with Egypt, an Exodus, and great destruction. But, you know, a great time to rejoice. And now I'm finding out this place called Little Egypt. And then I find out about the 2027, 2034 eclipse in Egypt. And now it's just like, whoa. So all of those people, you know, everybody who supported that video and those videos and commented, I would be leaving you a link um, to the book because the book dives deep. It goes into an extra layer of revelation and and. And, and this is why I'm calling for this fast. And I, I don't think, you know, I was talking to some people about it and it seemed like me saying it is like something to think about. And it's like, once you understand this, there's nothing to think about. This is really, it, it just makes sense that you should be fast. Like you should not go to work. You should not, you know what I'm saying? You should, should put your, on the calendar, I'm not going to work. I'm going to be home or in the wilderness or wherever I feel comfortable. And I'm going to be fasting and praying and seeking the most high for the next move. Because this is a, a, a straight up, a new time, a new season. We're going into a new time and a whole new season. You know? 
And for people to kind of look at me like, oh, yeah, you, you put out another book or you put out a book or what you talking about this time? Or, what do you mean we all should fast? And it's like, like, it's like, I know I'm not crazy. <laughs> the signs are in front of our faces. You know, so, I, you know, I tell people, look, those who listen, this is why the scripture says, if you listen to his prophets, you shall prosper. Whatever. Those who listen, I, I guarantee you, the people who listen will come out with something. They're, they're going to say they had a, a vision. They're going to come out with some type of testimonial. They're going to hear some type of message. I mean, if you really focus in on these days, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If you really, really focus in on these days that's, that, that's coming in you fast, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're going to receive something. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But, you know, there's always going to be those who who's like, what are you doing? I don't get it. What are you doing? I don't, what are you doing? I don't get it. So, um, that is why... Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, man. I just really wanted to come back, share this with y'all, man. Uh, exciting news, exciting journey. I I definitely want to make more videos on this channel as much as I can. But for right now, um, you know, I only can do what I can because there's still so much I have to do. But I have to raise the alarm. I got to ring the alarm. I got to get all people on board with this um, because this is coming fast. We're going to be in 2024. It's going to be in a couple months. And look at everything that's happening right now. If you're paying attention to what's happening right now, so much is being exposed and so much is about to get just getting started. Just getting started tip of the iceberg oh man there's so much so much i want to say so much i want to say but um all those who've been reaching out praying for me thank you so much from the bottom of my heart praying for me and my family um i'm also going to be praying for you especially with everything that's getting ready to happen um i, I guess i gotta be the crazy one <laughs> until people really see it so i really gotta be the, the one that's blowing the trumpet and i think we all should be blowing the trumpet it shouldn't just be me like we all should be telling our people like look we should really be trying to fast at this time there's no reason why we should be going to work there's no reason why anything else should be a priority in this in these times but us fasting and praying and getting ready but besides that, man, I love y'all, man. It's good to be back, you know, to speak to the people again, especially my, my YouTube community because my YouTube community is has always been my biggest support. They've always been, like, my family that, I, I, like, you know, the family that you never see, they've always been, like, my biggest supporters, even bigger than my friends and my family. And that's, that's real. And that's real. That's life. But peace, y'all. Peace.